Let me talk to you a bit about your limbic system. Now the limbic system is the part in your brain, it's the inner part, and it manages really all of the storage for all of your emotional experiences. If you've ever smelt something or you hear something, your limbic system immediately files that. This is why you can hear a song on the radio and it instantly takes you back 15 years ago to when you were in high school or when you were at a certain event or when you were doing something with specific friends. This is why I can hear a marching band play right now in the middle of the fall and I will instantly be transported back to where I lived when I lived just two or three blocks away from my high school and heard the marching band practice over and over and over. This is why you smell a certain food Instantly you remember and recall certain things or recall a certain house. It's because the limbic system takes in all of these senses and then it files all of these experiences and it files them for you. Here's another thing that the limbic system does. It takes traumatic emotional experiences and it files them. But when it files them, it doesn't just file them in the brain. It files them throughout the body. This is why you may have an ache or a pain in the body that may arise and seemingly arise out of nowhere. It's why you may have an ache or a pain and there be no explanation for it. It just arises and it's a symptom letting your body know like a check engine light, hey, something's going on here. You have some unfinished business that you need to attend to. And when you're ready to attend to it, you can attend to it and that check engine light will turn off. The problem is many times we ignore the check engine lights. The problem is many times we ignore what's going on. Or the problem is many times we just get a pharmaceutical or a drug. We cover up the symptom and the symptom then is covered and emerges as a check engine light in the body somewhere else. Imagine if your car has a check engine light and if it goes off and you just unscrewed the bulb, but your car had the ability to start flipping on the windshield wipers or for the seat to start going backwards and forwards or for the radio to start automatically changing channels. In some way, this is what happens with your body when you ignore the signs that are put up by the limbic system. Now, because the limbic system responds to smell uniquely, Essential oils and the smell have the ability to target the limbic system and actually bring about change and connection there with the entire brain and with the entire body. Well, if memories are stored there, and if there are harmful memories there, here's what I believe. I believe that many times healing can come instantly just by forgiving something that's happened in the past. There may be a harmful thing that's happened that somehow in the spirit is giving rise to something as a symptom in the body. And it's the body just letting you know, check engine light, hey, something's here that you need to deal with. And so one of the absolute first places that we start when we walk through healing is with the spirit and is with those deepest issues that are there. And remember too, if we're looking for a lifestyle of therapy, if we're looking for a lifestyle to walk out health and wellness, the goal is not just to be healed, the goal is to not even need healing at all. The goal is to totally walk in a lifestyle of health and wholeness. Well, that leads me to another point. As the spirit finds healing, the body often quickly moves into alignment. That's right, as the spirit finds healing, the body often quickly resets and moves into what it was designed to be.